So how we will study this subject? Now, keep your mind absolutely free because science will change from this grade onwards. You will be studying physics, chemistry, and say what you call uh, biology. And uh, this uh, physics will be very, very what you call numerical oriented, okay? And the entire concept has to be understood by you. So uh, some prelim talks before we start our chapters, okay? Have you got hold of, your cover page may be different. Have you got hold of this book? Lakhmi Singh's physics book, okay? Yeah, cover pages may be all different, different of everyone. So some of the words that I would like to tell you, your NCRT textbook in no way will help you to develop any knowledge. If you ask me, you can kiss your NCRT textbook goodbye, keep it in your school bag. If anyone who wants to study with science in 11, 12, if he starts reading from this book, he or she, there's nothing more required. And these books are, I'm reading them from my time onwards, okay? So they are excellent books. And if you read this, there's nothing up. Like I don't have an NCRT book of science anytime in my house. You don't need to open at all. You will not learn physics at all if you read NCRT book. Okay. Now, uh, from this class onwards, there can be three type of kids. Okay. Hence on, in terms of physics, I'll, I'll say there will be three type of kids. You decide which segment you want to be. There will be one kid who may not love physics at all, not love physics, okay? physics There may be a kid. There may be a kid who may score well in physics paper, score well, and you will score well in class nine, as well as you'll score well in class 11 and class 12 or class 10 also. And there will be one more type of kid who will love physics from now on, okay? So I'm not going to pressurize it anyway on you. You think where you are. What I find, majority of the kids go into this one. Even from my days, they go score well, but they have not loved physics. That's why when what happens is that they need a lot of assistance, but they'll score well, they're hardworking, and their numbers would be good. But how the numbers come, I'll tell you, they will score like say around 95% in physics, which includes chapter of electricity. But if there is an electrical issue in their house, they even don't know the head and tail of it, how to solve it. So they, they don't come in this segment. For me, a child who is here, my personal choice will be, my love will always be for the child here. It's not that I won't love these two child. Yes, this child may be good in biology, who knows. But if you love physics, you need not understand, you did not mug up anything. And everything is a concept from here. If you don't understand the concept, you will just mug up formulas and uh, you will do it. You will get the answer correct. And if you don't get the answer correct, you'll see the correct answer. And then again, you will match the answer. You will not learn it. So choice is up to you how you want to go to it. Everybody may not love physics. Again, I'm saying, but my job will be to make it as interesting as for you. And if you fall in love with it, then you will just fall in love with it. Okay, chale. So understanding is very important. And if I don't get questions from you, I'll understand that either you have understood everything, which is not possible. So unless you question, you will not learn in physics. You will the formula, like a parrot, and then suddenly signals will fail. You may think that sir is today talking so harsh. No, sir is bringing the reality to you. You will not be able to score in entrance and all. So in order to understand, please understand first. Forget about whether you're getting a right answer or not. Okay. Sir, so, yeah, we I have had a doubt in math. Should yeah, I I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. So we have five chapters in physics in class nine. And all the fives are of five different areas. And exactly class 11 chapters are just same as these chapters. I mean, we, okay. So welcome to physics. The subject that you are this teacher loves the most. This is my, for me, this is my darling subject. Okay, so I may be a little bit more biased towards it. Okay, before we start physics, let us get some few concepts correct. Concepts. Are we fine with conversions? If not, again, you will limp. So, conversion ke liye pahle poem yaad kijiye. Mili, mili matlab ek chota sa billi. Mili, senti, desi. Okay, mili, senti, desi. And then I'm writing gram with big. Gram. Liter, meter, 
After that, look, I'm using capital letter deca, hecta, kilo, and uh, we used to say to our teacher maro. So maro is not there, it's only up till kilo. Okay. So millicenti decigram, deca, heca, kilo. Or fin maro bolne se, for all of that. Kaise karing is ko 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay. If you are going from this side to this side, then you will always divide. And if you are coming from this side to this side, you will always ish. You will always multiply. Sir, what are you trying to say? Say Vanya Madam tells me, sir, one millimeter is how many meter? So which side she is going? She is going this side, along the side. So she writes one millimeter is equal to blah blah meter. So how many tens does she jump? Ek ten jump kia. Kitna ten jump karta hai? Dekho to. How many tens she is jumping? One ten. Are she is jumping? So three. One, two, three. So she jumps three. That means ten to the power three. Khatam. One millimeter is one by ten to the power three. Then suddenly Aparna says, "Sir, I want." How much is one meter in terms of kilometer? So where is Aparna? Aparna is here, meter. How many tens she is jumping? One ten, two ten, three ten. And the, she is going this way. Again, she is going this way. So she will say one meter is equal to one upon ten to the power. Because these are all divide. Why these are divide? Because both the girls in their calculation travel this side. Did it enter the head? And now our friend Vivan says, sir, one decameter should be equal to how many centimeters? So first place Vivan. Vivan is here. Vivan wants to go here. How many tens are he crossing? One ten, two ten, three ten. That means he will straight away. And he's going this side, multiply side. So he says this is one into ten to the power three centimeter. So, how is the poem? Millicenti decigram, deca heca kilo. Millicenti decigram, deca heca kilo. Everything is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And when you come to class 11, it's not from milli. It's from, here it is how much? Milli means 10 to the power. So, if you are, if this is 10 to the power minus 3, 10 to the power minus 2, 10 to the power minus 1. And then this is one. After that, it becomes 10. Then it's 10 to the power two, 10 to the power three. That's how it goes. But in class 11 and all, you'll start from 10 to the power minus 18 and you'll go to 10 to the power 18. Then it becomes exa pita tera giga mega kilo hecto deca deci centimilli micro nano pico fem to ato. Wo aapko bhi yaad ho jayega. When you fall in pressure, you'll start learning. But now, millicenti decigram, deca heca kilo. Ye yaad hai ki nahi? Quickly. Okay? Get this thing right in your head. It's a 10, 10, 10 game. Milli. So I'll write it again for you. How do we say? Milli, centi, deci. Then you write gram. Gram. Gram is for weight or mass. Liter is for volume. Meter is for length, then deca, heca, kilo, maro. Dasia, 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 10, 10, 10. I make them with different colors. Yo, 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 yo. All right, sir, understood? Because a lot of problems will come with this conversion. Centimeter, meter, meter. Chalo. Next. Chapter has not yet started. Now let's start our chapter. Our first chapter is, name is motion. By the time we complete five, six classes, you will yourself rename this chapter. We'll not rename it now. We'll rename it later. In many books, you will find this chapter is written as motion in a straight line. Okay, in many books, they will write motion in a straight line. In very good foreign books, they will write uniformly accelerated motion 
कितना लंबा नाम है देखो चैप्टर का मोशन इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन सो नाउ यू विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई दीज नेम्स आर गिवन लेट फोर फाइव क्लासेस गो देन यू विल योरसेल्फ चूज यू विल यू विल नॉट लाइक टू कॉल दिस चैप्टर लाइक दिस यू विल आइदर चूज दिस वन और दिस वन ठीक है रेडी फाइन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर कांसेप्ट ऑफ मोशन द होल चैप्टर स्टार्ट्स विद टू कांसेप्ट्स इन व्हिच वी विल हैव लॉट ऑफ डिस्कशंस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रेस्ट वर्सेस मोशन motion does not mean that you eat something wrong and you start going to the toilet now and then that is doctor wala motion ye motion alag hai theek hai don't think motion means pet kharab ho gaya kya sudhri thi why so lazy face khet khaliyan ujad gaye hamare zameen barbad ho gaya sahab aisa hai kya ho gaya aaj josh nahi hai kuch nahi hua sir okay rest and motion in order to understand rest and motion physics is all about diagrams so please draw diagrams so there is so we will start with our study with our diagram a diagram ke bina lot of gaadi banayenge gaadi banate banate physics mein ekdam khatam ho jayega hamara theek hai na gaadi banayenge bahut gaadi banana padega right let us understand what is rest and motion so ye ek gaadi hai pata nahi hamare ghar ke is just outside parked outside our car and this car was parked outside my house at 2130 last night last night means what is the day today 3rd of april on 2nd of april 2023 this car was parked outside my house and right now the time is 1751 of 3rd of april 2023 and i find the car is still parked are you understanding and i find that the car is still parked what is my opinion about rest and motion of this car is this car in motion or is this car in rest sir it's in rest it's in rest, it's in rest. kai ko why Sir, because it has not changed position since so long. Yeah, because because my English is not so good. I say, Gari did not hello fight, not hello fight. The car did not move from its place. Okay, since last night, the car is parked at my place. You say that the car is in rest. Yes. How many of you agree that the car is in rest? Car is in rest because the car has not moved. So what I do? since i am your teacher and my sole job is always to make you feel wrong and feel myself right my sadistic pleasure has to be met this time also excuse me sir yes sir, sir. sir uh, we can also make it wrong by saying that the if uh, the, the earth is uh, moving yes. in yeah. so like yeah. that we will say now now this car is on mother earth okay and right now uh, this is uh, the sun okay this is the sun and what we do we make the uh, orbit of the earth like this okay right this is the orbit of the earth the earth, earth is orbiting and let's say we have a planet here and this is the planet named after shreyas since he is so naughty so this is shani or known as saturn ye shreyas ka planet hai this is saturn and the king of this planet is who is the king of this planet shreyas shrivastava he belongs to this planet now if he observes is the car in rest no car is moving because the earth is moving since last night and the earth is not only moving in one motion physics is so interesting the earth is spinning on its axis doesn't the earth spin on its axis yes the earth spins on its axis as well as what is happening the earth is also around so revolving around the earth and so shreya says this fellow says acha car is in motion he doesn't understand whether the ignition is on or not for him car is in motion and Here is our friend Mr. Vivan at his house, and he is very skeptical now. Who parked this car? And he says he files an FIR to the police and says, since last night the car from seven twenty one thirty to seventeen fifty one is at rest. Two people, two different opinion. ये है physics. किसको अभी सच माने, किसको गलत माने? समझ में आ रहा है? Whom do we say right? No, everyone is Vivan is correct in his place because the car did not move. Now, why does Vivan feel the car did not move? Now, let's because story there. Kelly, Saturn तक तो नहीं जाएंगे. इतना जाना नहीं है. Let's analyze the scenario once again. ठीक है? So let's see the scenario once again, and let's take our car. This is our car. So why? What happened to Vivan actually? Why he has placed that comment that the car did not move? Now, pardon me. Now, let's say this is the uh, This is the ground level of the car. Okay, let's say this is the ground level. Ah, kya karna drawing kar rahe ho jaldi class? Okay, say this is the ground level of the car. Okay. And right outside, Vivan is a very eco-friendly boy. So he is planting lot of trees nowadays because you know 
the planet is getting bad and bad. So there is a tree out here. Vivan finds that last night when the car was parked by that intruder person or whoever it is, the car was somewhere at a distance of, the car was at a distance of, let's say, the distance of its, the, we will measure it with the axis or the axis of the wheels, okay? So, let me draw it here this way. So, let's say this is the axis of the wheel and Vivan finds out last night that the car was at a distance of, at a distance of X meters uh, from the tree, right? Now he's filing the complaint to the police in this way. The police is asking him, since when was the car parked? So he says, sir, I do not keep watch at my home. Hey, then how are you saying that the car is parked? He says, sir, I don't have watch, but I keep measuring tape at my home. When he parked the car, I measured the car. The car was at X centimeter. He's not wrong. The police may find him idiot, but he's not wrong. You can't say he's wrong. The car was at X meters. And now after so much of time has elapsed, you know, this is morning, afternoon or evening of the next day, the car is still at X meters. The car is at rest. However, however, if this car, if this car on the next day, okay, say so on the next day, suppose this car would have moved somewhere here. This car go here move kar dete hai, and our Vivan has become an old man. He has become much more irritated, old man, more than me. Okay. And then he finds, sir, car's position has changed. It was earlier at, say, X from the pre. And now the car is at, let's say, earlier the car was at X1 meters. And now the car is, sir, at X2 meters. Is the car at rest? No. No, now it is at rest, in. but it has changed. So, here we do cheese pata chalta hai. Do cheese. On on first thing, we use time as, time was used as a reference, okay? Time was used as a reference. And on the second instance, a stationary, a stationary body. And what was the stationary body? Sir, the tree was used as reference. So, so we need a to check if the uh, object is in a motion or not, we have to have a reference point. You have to have a reference point. Now, for reference, you have got two types of choices. You can either use time as a reference or you can use a stationary body. Now, if you want to put a little bit more, if you want to put more of, into, you know, high-end mathematics into this subject, then we can do like this also. Look, I can, I can use the tree in this manner. Let me make the tree into a coordinate system. This is my Y coordinate. This is my X coordinate. And oh. this is my, sorry, this is my X, this is my Y, this is my Z. Look at here, this is the Z coordinate, this is Y coordinate, and this is X. And I would, I would attribute, these are very high oriented physics that, sir, the wheel was at this position. Oh, this is not clear so much. Let me use a different color. The wheel was at this position. Now the wheel from the origin has moved here. So the position has moved from the origin. These are all for you to understand. So such a type of a, explanation is known as in physics we always call this as frame of reference frame of reference whenever you talk you have to say from which frame of reference are you trying to quantify your situation or explain physics needs that very important because otherwise the boy Shreya Srivastava who is right now sitting at Saturn planet, he is just laughing at the whole scenario. Look at that idiot Vivan. He thinks car is at rest because his frame of reference, Shreya's frame of reference is unfortunately or fortunately the sun. He's seeing it from this and he says, sir, the car is in motion because last night the car was here. Today morning the car's wheel is at here. It's in motion. Samaj me aray. So how do we now say? First, we need to understand what is a frame of reference. Your book may have it or not, but you try to understand. Whenever we talk about, whenever we talk in physics, something about, and then we'll come to our definitions. Don't worry. Frame of reference, you need two things. One is a coordinate system, like a XYZ system. This is a coordinate system. This is your coordinate system. Basically, in this coordinate system, we will need a reference. Now, what is the reference in a coordinate system? Sir, the origin is the coordinate. This is the reference. We measure every point from the origin. But in your everyday example, Vivan used the tree as his reference. Fine. And you will also need a time measuring device. These two are required. Time measuring device. 
let us make it more interesting how many of you have got pets at home pets many of you have got pets at home right <clears throat> now don't get me wrong what i'm trying to say we are not going to live every day on this planet right we we'll not yeah we have a finite life does a pet or the animal know that he there will be a day when he'll not be there he doesn't know an animal does not know that one day it will not be there on this planet you know i know that's why you make savings you make you know uh, you keep uh, belongings for the next generation and all that is because you have the concept of time a dog doesn't have the concept of time a dog cannot tell you oh four days ago i barked at that person they can't say that they have memory you can say ah i saw him i saw vivan i saw him three days back in ratnadeep i saw him you have knowledge of time they don't have knowledge of time and the entire story of physics revolves around this reference point of time so when we talk about a frame of reference what is a frame of reference it is an understanding that in a frame of reference i should have a time measuring device and i should have a fixed stationary point when we talk about a coordinate system the origin serves as the fixed point this is our fixed point and when vivan was talking the tree served as its fixed point now we are ready to define motion and rest shall i now define i'll say now you see now i'll say the book definition it will become clear to you a body is said to be at rest a body is said to be at rest if its position does not change with respect to time that was the first way in which vivan made that police complaint or it does not change its position with respect to a stationary object taken as a fixed point that is the second way that he gave his complaint both are valid in physics understand and we'll write this a body is said to be at rest if its position does not change with respect to time kal raat bhi yahi tha aaj bhi yahi hai or if its body does not change if its position does not change with respect to a fixed stationary object taken as a reference point either way you can define if you ask me sir how should i define include both because when you go to class 11 you will not say like this you will say a body is said to be at rest if its position does not change on a frame of reference now what is frame of reference 2 years ago jaydeep sir told us a frame of reference should have a reference point stationary something stationary should be there and there should be time bus समझ में आया द ट्री इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर हाउस कैन बी अ फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस एंड योर स्टॉप वॉच ऑन योर हैंड बस दीज टू थिंग्स आर रिक्वायर्ड इफ यू कैन क्वांटिफाई एनीथिंग विद रेस्पेक्ट टू दैट यू आर एबल टू से सो या डेफिनेशन मेमोरी करने की जरूरत नहीं हम लिखते हैं आइए अ बॉडी विल से अ बॉडी इज सेट टू बी एट रेस्ट ठीक है हिंदी में कैसे लोग एक बॉडी रेस्ट में तब कहा जाता है इफ इट्स पोजिशन डज नॉट चेंज ओके एंड नाउ यू ब्रिंग योर टू क्राइटेरिया डब्ल्यू आर टी मीन्स विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम और विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू अ फिक्सड और stationary now this stationary is n a r y and golchas is n e r y stationary means pen pencil rubber and stationary means sthai don't make mistakes words that sound alike but spell different i met my girlfriend i gave her a bunch of flowers and she made a cake of me made using flower and she gave the cake to me standing on the floor floor flower flower you know alag alag hai i know english sir with a stationary stationary i tumko ya flower ka kahani suna raha tum stationary mein chale jaate ho with respect to a fixed or stationary object taken as a reference point and for your understanding these two combined together actually forms what is known as frame of reference lo bachcha samajh mein aaya ki nahi bolo ab kitab ka definition rat lo sara zindagi yaad rahega what is rest 
Sir, rest means when I, my breath goes out of you know, control, I sit in the gym listening to music. That is called rest. No, that is psychological rest. In physics, rest means a body is said to be at rest. A body is said to be at rest if its position does not change with respect to time or with respect to a fixed or stationary object taken as a reference point. Both combined together form a frame of reference. So, if you frame of reference, so when you class 11, mein jayenge, so, you will not draw a car like this. What they will do, you know, in class 11, they will make your life a little bit more miserable. So, they will just do like this. They will say this, they will say this, and they will say this, and they will say, okay, our car initially was at this position. Where was our car? They will say the car was here. So, they will say, what is the coordinate of this point? They will say, this is somewhere in space. So, they will say the coordinate is x1, y1, z1. And the car immediately moved to another coordinate. What is the coordinate of this? They'll say x2, y2, and z2. So, and then they'll say, what are the positions, vectors? This was here. Okay, sorry. It was the car was initially from this from the distance from origin. Now it is moved here. So body is in rest. Not in rest, it is moved. Motion may body. Asa 11 may apko dikhaiga. Asa gari wari drawing karega, the asa dikhaiga. Gari move karega. Right? If you think that the whole world is a graph paper, then everywhere you stand has got a position, yes or no? When, when, a, when a fighter aircraft is going and the fighter aircraft now locks the other aircraft as its target, how is it locking? The other aircraft is also moving. So it has to immediately make, see how much of science is involved. This is what you said. You are on the cockpit of a fighter aircraft and your enemy aircraft is in front of you. He is also on a dogfight with you. You are also on a dogfight. Now you have to lock that aircraft and then fire at that aircraft. How will it happen? So the computer of your aircraft for that time immediately calculates one frame of reference of yours and a frame of reference of that aircraft. This is what is avionics. And then starts to plot his motion because the next second the aircraft will move and then releases a guided missile. And the missile starts tailgating that aircraft. Wherever that aircraft will go, it will tailgate and go and hit. जिस दश के पास ये टेक्नोलॉजी है वो राजा है जिसके पास नहीं है बस मरो फिर बैठ के सो इफ यू थिंक यू वांट टू बी लाइक दैट ओरिएंटेड यहां से समझना सीखो ठीक और हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू फॉलो क्रिकेट लॉट ऑफ यू ऑल दिस लेग बिफोर में जो बोलता है ना हॉकाई टीवी अंपायर बॉल पिचिंग ऑनलाइन यू आर ऑन मेन कैमरा रिवर्स योर डिसीजन वो कहां से आता है यहीं से तो आता है Everywhere the ball's coordinate is plotted and then they will give a trajectory of the ball, the equation of the ball. And they'll say pitching in line, hitting stumps, take your decision, right? Fine. So you have understood what is, what is rest. If you have understood rest, then I don't think there is any difficulty for you to define motion. Motion, what is motion? Motion. So a body is said to be in motion. Then it changes its position. Ah, super time or stationary object. Yes. Now, since you have defined who is a good boy, you have to define who is a bad boy. A body set to be in motion if its position changes with respect to A, time, or B, a fixed stationary. Stationary object taken as a reference point. But if there is a less difference between the motion of the object moved, so sir, uh, do we have to measure it always also? In physics, if the coordinate has changed, I mean, it's something like this. See, this one. our example here. It's like this here. If this coordinate changes, body is not at rest. Simply. Body is in motion with respect to time. Panch baje yaha tha, panch baje ke panch minute mein yaha aagya. Bas. Okay. Now sometimes what happens? We may say, sir, there are why do uh, objects which move very slowly? Then we say, sir, when objects move slowly, we say like like the hour hand. Have you seen the hour hand of a clock? You don't feel the hour hand of a clock is actually in motion. But think when you went to school today and now that he has come, it's already must have moved seven, eight hours. Oh, dhire dhire jata hai. Apparently. But the second hand, if you see of a clock, wo aapke samne tick, 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 tick karke ja hai. So the motion is, it's more apparent to your eye. Okay. Understood? Clear? 
Right, chalo, that's just stationary. Then one more question, which generally is asked that is any object in this universe, in this universe, means the whole Brahman, permanently at rest? No, sir. Permanently at rest. What is your answer? Do you think anybody is no. at rest? But no, you are also not at rest. Earth is moving, you are moving. Galaxies are expanding, going on, Big Bang theory. So we say no. Nothing is at rest. Everything is moving. So everybody is in unrest. Clear? Any questions so far? No questions means you have to understand Okay? Rest and motion understood? Yes, sir. So what is rest? A body is said to be rest. If its position does not change with respect to time and the fixed stationary object taken as a reference point. My name in class 9 is taught, now I remember. Now I remember when I was up in the sir, sir, yes, sir, define rest. A body is said to be in rest if its position is going to be like this. You have to do it. Okay? So this is the first story. So our hero and heroine have been introduced. Now let's meet their parents. Two more concepts we will study today. And they're very interesting. They are known as, let's first understand the concept of distance, okay? In order to understand the concept of distance, we need to understand a little bit of geography. And my map drawing skills are not that good, but just bear with me. I'm trying to draw the southern peninsula of map of India. We are somewhat like this, okay? Yes, Thoras India, so much lower scope. Okay, right. So our friend Rishabh is sitting right now at Noida, at Uttar Pradesh out here, and we are out here in Hyderabad, okay? Right. So we say, what is the distance from what is the distance from Delhi to uh, Noida or Delhi from Hyderabad? So we say it's around say 1200 kilometers is the distance. So we are trying to we are trying to see that this is Delhi and this is Hyderabad and roughly we say 1200 kilometer ke aspas we are spread across. So here is our friend at Delhi and we are all here at Hyderabad. Okay. Now this is distance. Now this is in common language. Physics may jawab bologe na. What is the distance from Delhi to Hyderabad? So he says 1200 kilometers. And then we ask another boy, Vivan. Vivan, what is the distance from Delhi to Hyderabad? Then Vivan immediately says Delhi to Hyderabad. Sir, 1900 kilometers, 2000 kilometers. Then we say, hey, how come it is 2000 kilometers? Then Vivan says, sir, uh, very nice, sir. Last time, actually, when so after a few days, my dad is coming from Singapore. So we are going to watch Backstreet Boys Band in Bombay. So how we are going? We are actually going from Hyderabad to Mumbai, some 750 odd kilometers. This is Bombay. And from here, we will be going to Delhi. So this is another some 1200 kilometers. So roughly you can say, sir, Delhi to Hyderabad is a distance of roughly, say, 2000, roughly 2000 kilometers. And the whole world frowns at him. You idiot. How do you say like that? But no, he's correct. In physics, he's correct. Now, once he's correct in that, now his friends are there. Na? Now Nar comes a Shaurya guy. Now he says, sir, actually it is much more than that. It is approximately 4,000 kilometers. Okay, Shaurya, how are you are saying? Sir, we actually went on our holidays to Singapore. So we actually went from Delhi, Hyderabad to Singapore. And then we went to Delhi. Yeh bhi correct hai. To thoda distance. Yeh sab distance hai. To physics mein distance kaise hoga? The whole job started from Hyderabad. So let's say we take Hyderabad as initial point and we wanted to go to Delhi. So we call this as final point. Now let's define based on this story. A story go but define karing it. Distance is the actual length of the path traveled between initial point to final point irrespective of the direction of travel, irrespective of the course of travel. Which way you went, it has nothing to do. Distance between two points is the actual length of the path. So if we talk about, say, the normal human being, the normal human being was, his actual path was this. This was option one. So for him, distance was 1200 kilometers. For Vivan, this was his course of path between initial and final point. He went this way. So he says it is 2000 kilometers. And Shaurya went this way. So he says it is 3,000 or approximately say 4,000 kilometers, roughly. So are we in a position to define distance? In physics, distance means 
distance. So next time your mom says, hey, I sent you to Ratnadeep. Why did you take so much time? How far is Ratnadeep? You say distance is two kilometers. But your mom will say Ratnadeep is just in front of the clubhouse. No, ma'am. In physics, it's two kilometers. I actually went first, met Neha, my friend. Then both of us, we went to clubhouse. From backside of clubhouse, we went tick, 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 end tower. And then we went to Ratnadeep. Time pass. Distance. Actual length of the path. So how do we write distance? Distance. So distance is actual length of path travel between initial and final point. In physics, this is your next learning. Initial and final point. Less than, like in uh, medical, if you go, you, you, all the all the human beings are talked as patient, your subject. Subject ko leyao. Munna bhai mein bolte na. Subject ko injection de do. Here we'll talk about initial and final point. Everything is initial, final. No Delhi, no Singapore. Tell me, have you understood distance? So, will there be any difference if the uh, roots were root of the uh, from no. initial to the final point will be same and the... All, all, all. So distance cannot be fixed. Distance depends on how you went. And sir, the mode of transportation is different. Uh, nothing, nothing to do. Mode of transportation, I said, nah, I reversed my car, went to the garage, then went outside, then went to this place. And then like I started on my car journey to Delhi. I first went to Chennai and then went to Delhi. Why? Sir, I have got money. I, I love to buy fuel and burn. My wish. My wish. No, sir, I actually first went to Andaman with my car. And from there, I went to Delhi. My wish. You can't stop me. Okay, so much my distance. Distance is actual length of the path traveled from an initial point to final point. So distance between two an initial and final point is always there. So distance basically is a variable commodity. It's, this is variable. You can't say fixed. What is the distance between Delhi and Hyderabad? Depends on which route you took. And if you ask me, I actually spent two days in Moon and then came back to Delhi. So 3,84,000 kilometers one way, 3,84,000 kilometers the other way. And then I went to Delhi. But yes, Alu Tiki milengi Delhi mein aam Alu Tiki khane aayin. Yes, Amulya darling, kaisa lag raha hai? How are you feeling? Oh, sir, it's interesting. It's interesting. Like three idiot, na? Aap has kiyo raha hai? Sir, bachpan se ichcha tha engineer bannne ka isi liye has raha hai. Just like that. Right, chalo. Thik hai? Ab ek aur baat karte hai. So let's say now, Rishabh, you have to a little bit understand because others will understand. Now we stay in an apartment, Rishabh, in Hyderabad, which is known as PBL city. And all these, there are many students here. A lot of these students, they go to a school whose name is Glendale Academy. Glendale Academy. Okay. So once we get out, and it's very near to our house. So once we get out of PBL city, we go like this. We have got a lake. We'll find a lot of buffaloes on the road. Then we have to go this way, like this way, then this, then somehow this way. Then say, suppose there is a jam or something, we turn and somehow we reach Glendale Academy. What are we covering every day? Distance. And somebody may say, no, no, no. Today there is some politicians are coming this way. So let us take the other route. Let us go via the Telangana Police Academy and come to Glendale Academy from this side. This is also distance. Understood? However, what we do at that point is that we bring isko chota naya aapko leke aate hain. Aisa. Ye samajh mein aaya kaun hai? Isko ek crow samajh lo. Raven mat samjho, nahi to haunted ho jayega. Crow. A crow ko aise pala. Jayega? Crow nahi. Crow bolne se kaisa kharaab lagta hai. Crow bolne se achha nahi lagta hai. Raja Maharaja ke zamane mein what is to be there? Parrots. Pigeon le aate hai. Thik hai na? Pahle zamane mein kings used to send love letters to their queens through pigeon na. Pigeon le aaya abhi. Aur pigeon ko kya bola? Pigeon beta, pigeon beta, Glendale Academy jaoge? Yes, jayega. Thoda achha se khana wana kha lo. Rasta mein bohot traffic jam hai. Your know, distance is quite more. Then pigeon will talk to you and tell you what? You idiot. I am not like you human being that I will go like you. I will go straight away in this manner. Pigeon thori road se jayega. Pigeon goes by the, pigeon goes by what? Pigeon goes by what is known as 
what is known as this we will call as shortest mark the word straight line shortest straight line distance so it is not any other distance ye noun hai this is noun and this is adjective now you have defined the noun na grammar bhi padh lo thoda sa this is known as sangya and that is visheshan so it is holding the sangya now right shortest straight line distance between between initial and final points can you have any other alternate to it no not possible there can be only one and only one unique shortest distance aur isiliye hum bolte hain how far is neha's house from my house so in english we say well you can take as the crow flies you have you heard in books they write this line as the crow flies it is around 2 kilometers that means they are trying to tell you the displacement crow kaisa hai crow aise ghum ghum ke thodi jayega itna energy kharcha karke seedha jayega na crow will go straight so when you play carrom you are all playing in displacement thak 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 straight carrom mein kabhi bhi aise coin nahi jata hai all displacement tangential carrom mein all coins are moving straight yes or no yes अब बिलियर्ड और पूल जब खेलते हैं तब कैसे जा रहा है सब स्ट्रेट लाइन हिट करते हैं आड़ा तेरा सो दिस इज द शॉर्टेस्ट स्ट्रेट लाइन डिस्टेंस एंड दिस कमोडिटी इज नोन एज डिस्प्लेसमेंट समझ में आया व्हाट इज डिस्टेंस एंड व्हाट इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड इन द एंटायर चैप्टर ऑफ फिजिक्स दैट यू विल बी स्टडिंग फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन टिल क्लास इलेवन टू इंजीनियरिंग you are only going to study displacement although the book says distance distance in many problems those distances are all straight line distances so am i not correct to change the name of the chapter as as oh, as motion in a straight line in class 9 if they say a body is moving the body cannot move like this cannot the body can only move like this like this Like this, वो सीधा जाएगा इसीलिए मोशन इन स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड मे बी आफ्टर थ्री फोर वील ब्रिंग दीनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्ड ऑल्सो यूनिफॉर्मली एक्सेलरेटेड अब समझ में आया हमारा मोशन मोशन इन स्ट्रेट लाइन है वी आर नॉट स्टडिंग कर्बिलीनियर मोशन हियर दैट कम्स इन क्लास इलेवन यू आर नॉट इक्विप टू स्टडी कर्बिलीनियर मोशन यू आर ओनली लर्निंग मोशन इन स्ट्रेट लाइन आपकी बॉडी अगर मूव कर रही है तो स्ट्रेट लाइन में मूव करिए सो टाइम फॉर अस टू राइट टू मोर डेफिनेशन डिस्टेंस एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट distance is the actual length of the path between initial and final point based on how you travel between those two paths sir my dad is very rich we first drove our car to myanmar and then we went to delhi very good my dear boy very good you are promoting the fuel balance of the earth please do that so for you distance is different what is displacement displacement is always the shortest straight line path between and it cannot be too different if the displacement from delhi to hyderabad is 1200 kilometers then it is 1200 for neha for jet airways for indigo for spice jet for hanuman and for ravan also when he is coming to kidnap sita the displacement cannot change sir yes sir can you once again repeat the uh, what is it Definition for displacement? No, repeat. No, I will not. Now, I have not said so much. Now, you write yourself. If it is English, I will write it. I will write it. Write. Science has nothing about Shakespearean. We are not studying Shakespeare's English out here. You try to understand what is displacement. As Sir told, as the crow flies. Shortest. Make sure the words are there. Shortest. Straight line. Distance. Where? Between me and my girlfriend? No. Between initial and final point. Bas kadam. That's displacement. Shortest straight line distance. What this, sir? You said distance is variable. No, but here we have added an adjective: shortest straight line distance. Strawberry cake. You cannot bring any cake. It's a strawberry cake. Adam. Kya Prathi ji? Kuch has rahe ho, likh rahe ho ki nahi? Kuch nahi likhte ho. Likho. Khali dadi ma ki kahani sunti hai baat ke panchayat mein. लिखोगे तो याद रहेगा हो गया डिस्टेंस डिस्प्लेसमेंट सीख लिया बहुत कुछ सीख लिया रेस्ट सीख लिया मोशन सीख लिया डिस्टेंस सीख लिया डिस्प्लेसमेंट सीख लिया अब एक और चीज ठीक है 
Just like you have got Tata Sky at home, then you ask a question, hey, your Tata Sky is SD or HD? Oh, ours is HD. You've got Fire Stick. Is it 4K or is it HD? So, here is something HD or 4K. You will have to read it. What's that? Now, this has nothing to do with only distance and displacement. This has to do with all physics. What are the quantities like pressure, temperature, volume, whatever it can be. Okay, force. Uh, distance, displacement, all the quantities that you study in physics, they have been grouped under two houses. What are the two houses, sir? One house is known as scalar. Oh, oh, oh all new, new names, scalar. And one is known as vector. Yeah. Sudriti ko itching ho ra hoga. Ye sab wo par chuki hai na last year. I know, sir. You allow me to speak. Hai na? One is known as scalar and one is known as vector. Okay. Okay. The best way to understand this is by picking the quantity called force. Force ko utate hai. Force. Right? Agreed? Now, scalars are those quantities. Scalars mein hum kin... Scalar is a group. It is a family. Scalars may we place those physical quantities which only have magnitude. Magnitude means which only have a value. Like say, what is the age of Shriya Srivastava? Sir, 14 or 15 years, only a value. And in vectors, we place those quantity which have magnitude, that is, they should have a value and should also have a direction, mandatory. Ab ek example dunga, you will get it absolutely clear. Like uh, velocity. No, no, velocity and not from book. I will give an example you will remember forever. Who should be the subject of this example? Bolo. Should I take Shreyas? Shreyas. I'll take you as a subject and make this example. Okay. okay, very good. He has volunteered. Now he will repent for his life. So I bring a robot from the market and I program it to slap Shreyas. I bring a robot and I say, I will program this robot to slap Shreyas. So I tell the robot, so this is Shreyas. Just see why it needs direction. And this is my robot. programming slap Shreyas. Slap shares. Robot kya bolega? What is the force? Kitna zor se maro? So I said, five newton thappad maro isko. Padas karke. Then it says, right cheek or left cheek. I said, right cheek. Direction agya dekho. Then it says, should I slap from my right hand or my left hand? I said, slap with your right hand. Should it be a clockwise swing or an anti clockwise swing? Clockwise swing. Kitna kuch program karna par raha hai. Then only he'll get the slap. Now the slap will be identified as what? A five Newton slap hit from the left hand side to right hand side with a swing of 120 degree on a polar coordinate of so and so. So force is a vector quantity. If I tell the robot, just slap him with five Newton, wo robot pagla ho gaya. Sir, kaisa kaha maro, sir? Is side maro, is side maro, upar se maro, niche se. So are you understanding? Now, just put this understanding into our previous example, yeah. distance. It, does distance have a direction? No, because one boy went via Port Blair, one boy went via Singapore, one boy went directly, one boy went via Mumbai. But how did our crow go? Our crow said, okay, the crow, now if the crow was a robot, the crow has done something like this. See, yeah, physics said. So the crow has done a coordinate mapping like this. Yeah, hai crow ka coordinate. And the crow, Right now is at origin. Okay. The crow will be right now at origin. And this origin is Pebble City. Pebble City is just like your Clio County. Okay. Pebble City. And it will say, okay, this is Glendale. Glendale is something like 22 degree east and latitude and at 30 degrees from my horizontal bus crow ko agar itna direction mil gaya crow seedha jayega aur isko hit karega that's how we program missiles do you understand like you have you have two type of missile cruise missile ballistic missile a ballistic missile is just like a diwali's rocket it just goes and does some damage kahin bhi girega but a cruise missile can be programmed please go and hit shorya's house bedroom window pane number 6 on the third pane you hit it it will just go and hit there that means you have given a direction to it. So displacement is a vector quantity, my dear friend. Let us see what are vector quantities. Displacement is vector 
force is vector sir can you say some scalar quantities why not distance is scalar what is the mass of shares sir so and so kg mass time length ye sab ka direction nahi chahiye kali value chahiye iska length kitna hai volume but don't say area in higher classes you will learn area is a vector so ye sab ho gaya hamara fir so if somebody tells us velocity ha velocity abhi padhaya hi nahi hai kai ko velocity bol rahe ho abhi ravan aaya nahi hai mind mein jab aayega tab abhi abhi ram lakshman khel raha hai aaram se sita is yet to be kidnapped and then comes ravan you know so don't bring ravan now so can we now define scalars and vectors let's say scalar quantity scalar quantity write down those physical quantities those physical quantities which can be defined or expressed completely in terms of their magnitude only or you can follow the book's definition also in terms of their magnitude only are called scalar quantity right i would suggest that you follow the lakshmi singh uh, definition because they are written in bold aur acha likhta hai and you can give some example what are the example sir mass sir time sir length sir distance sir what did you write after defined defined or or expressed abhi aap book ko dekhoge to bhi aayega dekha book mein kaisa likha hai ekdam sundar sa definition sundar sundar sa definition rahega book mein kahan gaya scalar and vector rahega na ha actually scalar and vector should be taught first icsc teaches that as first in terms of in terms of their magnitude are known as scalar quantity okay once what is written after or or those physical Express. quantities which can be defined or expressed expressed wo sari bhautik cheeze jinhe aap उनके माप से बना सकते हो उन्हें हम स्केलर कहते हैं ठीक है सो वेक्टर क्या होगा ये डेफिनेशन होगा दो फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज व्हिच कैन बी डिफाइंड और एक्सप्रेस कंप्लीटली इन टर्म्स ऑफ बोथ देयर मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन इन द केस ऑफ वेक्टर यू विल ऐड द वर्ड मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन वेक्टर के केस में ऐड करेंगे मैग्नीट्यूड प्लस डायरेक्शन ठीक है ना use the same definition those physical quantities which can be defined completely or expressed completely in terms of both their magnitude see the only difference is scalar ko ek hi cheez chahiye vector ko do cheez chahiye warna vector nahi hoga so whenever we say displacement we can there cannot be two different type of displacement now is going to aapko ek definition de deta hu dekho theek hai now this is this is typical like the problem that your parents have with you all when they send you to ratnadeep or any shop so let's see this is our sudriti i have seen this always with her so she will first go this side gossip with one friend and then she is gossiping with her friend and she goes here so let us say what was her initial point this was sudriti's initial point where she actually wanted to go sir she actually wanted to go here final point dekho she first travel 3 kilometers this side then she traveled 4 kilometers with her friend yahan pe sudriti thi ta 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 yahan ja ke e pata hai kal kya hua aaj tv mein na wo program aaya aur fir dono yahan pe gaye na 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 then her mother is out here and mother is frowning hey i told you to go and bring something she says oh it's so far away 7 kilometers then her mother says who is your 7 kilometers it's so near because her mother is actually thinking only in terms of displacement and now can you tell me what was her mother's assumption mother's assumption was how much 5 km 5 km excellent i love this i really love this this is heron's formula coming into practice 3 4 5 is a pythagorean triplet because 
this is 90 degree. So Sudriti traveled first east, then she traveled north. So we can also say, now see the difference. Let's say this is A and B. Between A and B, was it distance or displacement? Who will answer this? Between A and B? Distance. Uh, yeah, bolo, bolo, distance, haat distance, 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 distance. No, it's not distance. distance. He traveled distance. three kilometers east. Ye bhi displacement hai. Kaun bolo? Yeah, but that's not the initial. Uh, that's not, that's not that's where she had, had to go. go. Where she had to go. But if I consider, I, that's why I told you between A and B. I did not tell you between A and C. Now, my question is, listen. Bhagwan ne do kaan diye hain bolne ke liye ek mu. Sunna jada. What between A and B was it a distance or displacement? It was a displacement. Got it. Now between B and C, Sudriti has traveled four kilometers north. Magnitude and direction. Magnitude and direction. Magnitude. No school me tumko aise padhayega hi nahi. Rattu mar ke definition likha dega. I'm not saying because I'm good. Bas definition yaad karke do saal baad bhool ke baat jaoge. Jab chota bhai bolega ghar pe, can you explain me? I don't remember. Why will you remember? You never learned. You only mago fight. Right. And if I ask you now between A and C, what is Sudriti's displacement? You say I, that it is I'm just the hypotenuse. AC is equal to root over AB square plus BC square. We start remembering Dadaji from Greece, whose name was Pythagoras. <laughs> Welcome to class nine. Now, don't you feel what is the pressure in class eight to class nine in terms of science? Kitna mathematics hai? Ye to kuch bhi nahi hai. Abhi to we are just peeling the akhrot. Right? So this is typically a vector. So they say when in higher classes you will go, they say vector addition is not. See, you, you, you did you actually did vector addition. And vector addition is very stylish. 3 plus 4 normally is equal to how much? 7. Mm -hmm. But in vector, it gave you how much? 5. Now, this is a vector. This is a vector. Oh, so much ah, so much vector addition mm -hmm. is not like that. Vector addition, we give that 3 plus 4 is 5. It's not 7. I didn't, understand. I didn't understand. You need not understand. I'm saying when you add two vectors. Now, now see, this is a displacement D1. Agreed? This is displacement D2. Do you agree? Yes. Yes. So, vectors are represented with an arrow on their head. These are two vectors. D1 is one vector and D2 is one vector. After adding these two, where did Sudriti reach? See? Mm. See? So after doing this whole hard work, what is the net resultant? Sir, the net resultant is same as this vector r, which is from here to here. So we call r vector is d vector plus d1 vector plus d2. Where d1 vector's magnitude is 3 and this is 4. But isko ap 7 mat likhye. Calculation karke aapko ye 5 mila hai. You calculate? Yeah. Sir, do doubt hai. Ah, bilkul, First doubt is, sir, if they ask distance, we literate 7, na? If they ask you distance, okay. Now, now, very good question. Suppose in the, you know, at class 9 level, what you will be asked? They'll ask you, first question would be, calculate, calculate distance travel. Very good question, Shares. Traveled by Sudriti. Okay, your answer will be, Distance is AB plus BC. She traveled 3 plus 4 equal to 7. No doubt about that. Jitna mehnat karke gahi sab kuch account hoga. Now they will say, what is the displacement? You will say 5 kilometer. How did you find out? Using Daddy Pythagoras. Understood? Pressure ho raha I have not understood the Pythagoras one. What do you have not understood Pythagoras? This is the right angle triangle. What did you didn't understand? You tell me. Sir, like uh, AB square plus BC square. Hey, what is Pythagoras theorem? Don't tell me now. Pythagoras theorem is what? Base square plus height square is equal to hypotenuse square. You've used the same thing. Sir, why are you square, square rooted? Are Baba. 
AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square or not? This is Pythagoras theorem, na? So AC kya hoga? Iska root nahi ho jayega? Kya Rishabh? Sir. Ha? Mera aur ek doubt hai. Ha, pusho. In some way, can displacement be equal to distance? Yes, many a times. Why not? Displacement can be always remember distance can be equal to displacement, but distance can never be less than displacement. Displacement subse chota hota hai. A very nice question. Let me ask, let me tell you like this. There is a city of Delhi and there is a city of Jaipur. Very nice question. See. Okay. Now tell me. Morning, a bus travels from Delhi to Jaipur. And remember that this bus is going straight. There is no ara tera on the road. Ekdam sida jata hai. Very, very kalpanic scenario. And this is the morning shift. And evening, the bus comes back to from Jaipur to Delhi. It travels 350 kilometers one way. And evening, it travels 350 kilometers the other way. Okay? Shorya. Shorya ka hai? Chala gaya kya? Ah hai. Dekho, kitna interesting question hai. What is the displacement of the bus? Zero. Zero. Because the because you came point after of the bus is from. this and the this final point of the bus is also this. You came back from where you so, ne so next time you should go and tell the bus, Aap mat don't take our fare because there has hardly been any displacement. The bus comes back to its end. Also. But if I tell you what is the distance traveled by the bus, 700 kilometers is the distance traveled by the bus. We will add them. Yeah, because... And, and if you want, okay, you want to do it in vector mathematics, though you don't know, let's do vector mathematics. You traveled 350 kilometers east, means you went like this. You traveled 350 kilometers west. Anna? You travel like this. They are just opposite uh -huh. each other. So if this was, say, displacement D1, this vector is displacement D2, I can write d1 vector is negative of d2 vector. So if you bring d1 plus d2, the side mein kya hai? Zero to bachega? Linear equation, mathematics aagya. No more all those questions, Bhoju and Pahelis, they're gone. Now come to this class. Now are you ready for one question? A question puts down. Again, dek taun isko kohan answer karega. Right, let's see. <coughs> this is a road. Okay? On this road, this is a wheel. Okay, this is a wheel. Oh, no, no, no. Why it happens like this with me only? This is a wheel. This is a wheel. Okay. Suppose this is our Zoe cycle wheel. And what we do? This is the air inflation valve. You know, cycle make air gusanika valve rata na chota sa. This is the air inflation valve. All right. This is the air inflation valve. Okay. Kitab mat dekho. Maza nahi aega. Let us say the radius of this wheel, the radius of this wheel is say R. Kitna hai? R. Ajav. Mathematics ajayaga. Zoe turns this wheel. Zoe turns this wheel half revolution. Half revolution. Got it? My question is calculate the displacement. Displacement, okay? of the inflation nozzle. Socho, socho, socho. Calculate. I don't want answer. Zoe ka cycle half revolution turn mara. Hey, is side turn kar rahe, huh? Calculate the displacement of the Sir, what? 2R. Or is it pi R? Ah, different, different answers we are getting. 2R. Then this was Sudriti Das answer. This is answer from Sanvi uh, Bijoy. She says pi r. Okay, go ahead. Upari uh, na to the point. Mere ko nahi pata. Zoe ne cycle ko half revolution guma diya. Mera sawal hai. Wo inflation point kaha ka displacement kya hai? Uh, two r ye. Acha two r. Idhar Shreya Shrivastav two r. Or koi two r two r two r. Two R, okay. A two R. Rishabh Prakash there two R. Anyone else? 
अपर्णा यू एफ स्टिल नॉट आंसरिंग नेहा टू आर अच्छा टू आर पे बहुत वोट हो रहा है अपर्णा टू आर अरे टू आर तो दिस इज हु सेड टू आर आफ्टर अपर्णा हु सेड एंड देन वन ओह शौर्या ओके शौर्या शौर्या सो इट्स टू आर आई थिंक टू आर तो टू आर में जीत गए हम लोग ठीक है ना टू आर में जीत गए अब जरा अपनी जिंदगी का दो मिनट रिवाइंड करो और क्या तुमने सवाल को अच्छी तरह से सुना था अपनी कानों से जोई व्हाट डू यू थिंक वेयर विल द इन्फ्लेशन नोजल गो इन हाफ अ रेवोल्यूशन दट्स इट वाज योर साइकिल हाफ रेवोल्यूशन यू अंडरस्टैंड ओके यू गाइस मेस्ट अप ऑन वन थिंग यू गाइस थॉट हाफ रेवोल्यूशन मारने से हमारा नोजल ऊपर चला जाएगा लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है हाफ रेवोल्यूशन मारने के बाद हमारा व्हील का पोजीशन जो है ये हमारा व्हील है ना ये व्हील है ये हमारा व्हील विल कम समवेयर हियर इधर ऐसा आ जाएगा व्हील ठीक है इट इज मूव्ड प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड एंड नाउ यू विल से नाउ द नोजल विल कम एक्चुअली हियर यू थॉट इट विल कम देर ओनली ऐसा नहीं ना गाड़ी घूम के भी तो जाएगा ना थोड़ा सा सोच के देखो अरे ऐसा है है ना तो साइकिल मैडम इफ यू मूव द साइकिल बाई हाफ रेवल्यूशन विल द साइकिल नॉट मूव लीनियरली सो कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज दिस डिस्टेंस दिस डिस्टेंस शुड बी इक्वल टू हाउ मच This should be equal to two pi r divided by two. Half of the circumference it will move. Yes or no? That is what Sanvi's answer is. Somehow good, not correct, but she at least gave something realistic. So this is. Ab ab ab. देखो अब देखो मजा लो mathematics का मजा लो अब दूसरा class delay होगा कौन है तो physics में कोई. So this is how much? This is pi r. How much is this distance? Tell me. Two r. Two r. Two r. Okay. 2r this is 2r and what is the displacement initial point final point no. your displacement my dear friend has happened from here to here welcome to physics so the final displacement will be how much the displacement will be root under pi r square again pythagoras theorem plus 2r square this is the level of problems that come at iit jee so if you want to target here this is the thought process you have to develop sir ha aur ye ek jagah pe bhi to khade hoke ghum sakta hai ya bekar ke sawal mat karo abhi main fir mera temperature badha doge tum pehle to tum galat kiyo usko seekhne ki koshish karo that is called rotation not revolution that's called rotation a vehicle moves by half half revolution when it moves try to see the beauty part of it says why do you always argue to prove yourself correct it's so nice to learn that when the wheel moves the wheel does not remain at the same place earlier our wheel was at a position p now the wheel has gone to position p dash yes what all of you did correct was you saw that the nozzle is here the nozzle will come on top but top yahan pe nahi aayega yahan pe top mein aayega and i appreciate the answer of sanvi she calculated at least the half revolution that is pi r pi r niche or 2 r upar aur fir uska hypotenuse calculate karo that is displacement ye question aapke unit test mein nahi dega but aapka competitor jo icc mein bachcha hai wo ye solve karta hai so that is your competition welcome to physics and welcome to class 9 yes please tell me tell me tell me apna रेवल्यूशन सो हाउ मच डूट मूव टू पाई आर बाई टू सो पाई आर so pi r on this side 2 r on this side so this i can say is the base this is the altitude and this is the hypotenuse and again we go back to greece 
and remember our dadaji pythagoras now you understand why i used to say in class 8 you, it's the last of learning how to cut onions now you are making biryani and i just told you onion lay out and you said sir i didn't learn how to make cut onions go go and learn then go to class 8 this is the application of pythagoras theorem maza aaya and it's not about you solving wrong see no no batch of mine used to solve it correct this is the first batch in which one girl at least told that pi r part what answers you all gave every batch gives this answer but the difference is from that every batch there are kids who have gone to bits pilani there are kids who have gone to iits there are kids who have gone to foreign universities put yourself in that segment today i didn't answer but tomorrow i will get the correct answer that's the learning